Hello, this is Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to see the concept of metadata. Uh, metadata are the data that are no audio, no video, no subtitles. These are additional data that can contextualize your uh, video a bit better and it can make you do nice things. So we're going to see how to extract them. We're going to see how to deal with them and we're going to see how to include them in your favorite video. So I'm in a, a different location. You see that the chair is a bit different and uh, Ubuntu radio behind me. And so let's get started. Okay, so this is Sintel. This is the video that we've already seen in the past. Uh, it is uh, quite complete because there's video, it has audio, it has chapters, it has subtitles. And I'm going to see the chapters and the metadata which, uh, uh, which it has. And uh, to inspect the metadata and the chapter that it has, we're going to see FF Pro and name of the video. And we see that uh, there are the chapters, the creation time also, uh, the encoder that has been used and uh, in the end all the subtitles how can we extract the metadata out of uh, uh, the video using fmpeg so fmpeg minus i name of the video and then we're going to use something special that is uh, the uh, flag to force a particular format this is the minus f we're going to see it uh, later in the video. This is very useful if the video is corrupted, in particular the container is corrupted, so it lets you reconstruct the video in some certain situations. So if we, um, here we use a particular type of uh, uh, format, that is FF metadata, and then we take uh, the output file. In this case, uh, instead of WebM, I'm going to put txt the name of the file remains unchanged and here we go once we finish we have a, a text file with all the metadata in so to inspect it let's see and here we have all the metadata so we have the encoder we have uh, the time base um, this is a uh, the time we are going to uh, step from one sample to the next. So this is quite complex. We have uh, these and, uh, and then we have uh, this uh, uh, start, uh, start and end, and then the name of the chapter. So the title marks the end of the the, uh, the name of the chapter. Okay, cool. So we have uh, the information we would like to extract uh, for the moment uh, we are satisfied now what we would like to do is to create a new video without chapters just for practical uses later so the first thing that we need to do is to extract the um, so to remove the subtitles by using fmpeg out of the video okay then so how do we remove the the, how do we remove the metadata and all the rest? So first of all, we've got to decide which is the type of uh, uh, video, audio and subtitles. In this case, we don't want the subtitles. Let's remove them. So minus CV copy to copy the video stream. Minus CA copy to copy the audio stream. Minus SN to remove uh, the subtitle stream. And then we've got to put two special flags. We've got to put the map metadata. And uh, this is uh, one that we saw um, in the past, but uh, the map metadata, we're going to put it to minus one. So this uh, will remove the metadata. And the same thing with the next flag that is map chapters. And again, minus one. Then we put this in uh, the new video. We will have the same uh, uh, first part of the input file uh, name and we put it as no chapters. In this case, we also change the extension, so the format, the uh, container, it has a, a minus, a dot mkb, matroshka video. Let's run it. Um, 
Ah, yes. So here, I have to put the mine size. Sorry. And here we go. So the process is quite fast because uh, it is a, a copy stream. And here we go. We have uh, a new video called uh, No Chapters. Let's put uh, the minus F probe to the new created file. And here we go. We have only the video and the audio. No, uh, um, no chapters, nothing on the thing. So now we have the video without the chapters. How do we put the subtitles, the um, uh, chapter stream inside uh, the video stream? We're going to put, uh, using FMPEG, we put uh, the index of the video file and also the input file of the text file with the R chapters. So we're going to see minus R, minus F, FF metadata, because we've got to tell FMPEG that this has to be interpreted as metadata for R. Uh, our input for our file to be an output and uh, here minus i and the name of the input file okay and then all the um so we can put a minus c copy we want to copy all the streams inside the video and then we have uh, the name of the file in this case uh, we want it with the chapters now it's going to copy uh, the streams again, so it's quite fast. And then let's inspect what's in this video file. The pro chapters. And here we go. We have all the chapters and all the, the video and the audio. So cool. We included uh, the metadata. Okay, uh, now we saw the metadata as a text file. What we would like to do is to add our own metadata. For example, we want to include uh, the title, we want to include the author. Let's add the title so we know the title of the movie. It is not there in the metadata, especially in the uh, last created uh, video. So to do it, we're going to invoke the name of the input video, minus I and uh, the name of the last video that we just created and then uh, minus C copy we see all the indications about all the codecs that we can use and then uh, uh, minus metadata in this case we're going to take the name of the metadata is title and uh, the name between quotes between uh, um, quotation marks in this case it is Sintel and then we take this new file chapters uh, metadata title okay, it's getting very long but uh, it is uh, very fast so let's have a look if it has it F probe name of the input video and in the beginning there should be the name of the title so now we can add whatever we want uh, so we can add some um, pre custom pre uh, set uh, types of metadata the ones that uh, uh, the format the container or in general they are used like a title uh, author, copyright, and um, also other types date. So these are some kind of metadata. And some other kinds, uh, for example, the Matroshka, the MKV, also supports uh, some uh, uh, other types of metadata, um, like uh, the customized ones. So here you can put whatever you want, um, but uh, always be careful. Okay, today we saw the concept of metadata. Uh, we saw how to include them, how to extract them, how to remove them. Uh, so we only scratched the surface, but uh, since we left this thing uh, suspended from the uh, subtitle, the previous video, uh, it was a, a, a good thing to deal with uh, the uh, metadata also. 
Uh, there are also other complex things that we can do. Um, for example, uh, how to put uh, the chapters uh, with the right time and uh, uh, how to put the chapters uh, uh, using uh, human readable data, translate them into FF metadata and then uh, put them in the video. This is uh, uh, the topic for another video that will be in the future. So for the moment, thank you very much for, uh, if you reach this point, thank you very much for reaching this point. Uh, I suggest you like, share and subscribe if you like this content. Um, see you next time. Follow my social media. Uh, there is a um, uh, Instagram and the TikTok. For the moment, uh, thank you so much and see you next time for other content dealing with multimedia data and FMPEG and much, much more. So, ciao!